Hi, I'm Mrs. Bennett. Today we are exploring your first build using Spike Essentials. Before we start, remember to pause at any point to allow time to follow along. Teachers, here is the link to the teacher resource. These are the unit builds. They are designed to introduce you to the hub, motors and sensors. They also model the basic block-based coding you require to tell your hub what to do. This is the home screen. Flick between programming in Spike Essential and Spike Prime via the tab in the top right of the screen. For this lesson, select Spike Essential. The navigation bar at the bottom of the screen allows you to navigate through the app using the tabs. The options are Home, Tutorial Activities, Units, Lessons, Build Instructions and Your Projects. Each LEGO lesson takes around 45 minutes. Today we are going to use the provided iPads. Within the Unit tab, you will find Unit Plans. Today we're going to open the Happy Traveller unit. This specific unit is aimed at Stage 2, but you could easily adapt it for Stage 1 or a Stage 3 class. Get into groups of two or three and assign roles in order for all team members to stay on task. Potential roles could include a builder, a programmer and a manager. All lessons are found within the various unit plans. Today we are exploring the lesson Taxi Taxi. This build will focus on how to use two motors for driving the back two wheels. The front wheels are fixed at this stage. The app provides a step-by-step -step lesson guide using the arrows to navigate back and forth. It's time to work through the design thinking process. These steps are not linear and you can jump forward and back at any point. Teachers, here is a link to the template that follows the department design and production framework, which is useful for all STEM projects. Firstly, we need to identify real world problems for Leo. One, Leo has missed the bus. Two, Leo needs help getting to the museum. Three, build a taxi to help Leo to get to the museum. Next, you need to explore all of your equipment, resources and software. Check out the contents of the kits. Flick through all the lesson guides. This will help you to understand the entire project. You learn a lot about Lego elements during this step. Create a street map of Leo's journey to the museum. This can be any path. You can use masking tape on the floor or draw a map on a large piece of cardboard or butcher's paper. What angles are the turns? What directional language do you use? Start your design portfolio to show evidence of your design thinking. Make sure to collect different types of work samples throughout the entire process. This helps to elaborate or explain your ideas. Now you can begin planning for your design solutions. Take your time to work through the steps of the build. Connect your device to the hub by clicking on the yellow connect button at the top of the screen. Press the button on the hub. It needs to be flashing white to connect. Follow the drag and drop sequence of steps to code your taxi in lesson mode. This mode is restricted and contains only essential blocks. You may need to open and close the lesson if you want to see this guide again. Now the app has taken you through the basics. You and your team need to get Leo to the museum by breaking down the sequence of directions to the museum and putting the puzzle back together in code. Leo has made it to the museum. Now it's time to put your thinking caps on. What other routes can you come up with? What other blocks can you use? Evaluate design ideas in your design thinking portfolio and reflect on the success of your build using the success criteria and annotating your work samples. Seek and respond to feedback from your peers and the teacher via a gallery walk and sticky note feedback. For those fast finishers, check out the big bus lesson to incorporate sensors into your taxi. Always allow time to investigate simple builds before beginning a problem-based project. Teachers, you can have the lesson plan open in a browser on your laptop or desktop by opening this link. Don't forget to share any of your successes and questions with our STEM.T4L Facebook and Yammer communities.